Hello everybody, Crimson here, and I'm proud and happy to announce that I'm going to finally reveal the culprit that prevents everybody from playing Call of Duty World at War on PC, whether it's uh, multiplayer or co-op zombies. Uh, a lot of people think the game's old and dead. Well, they're right about one thing. The game's old, but it's not dead. The reason you can't just come in here and just find the game off the fly, uh, like normal, it's not dead. It's not dead. I'm going to show you what to do so you can actually find games and everything. Um, you're going to have to do two things. Um, so listen carefully. I'm going to show you the easy part. The really easy part. And then there's going to be a little bit more of a difficult part for those maybe who have never had to do this before. But that's called port forwarding. You're going to have to access your router through uh, your browser and go in there and port forward three ports and it sounds hard it may sound confusing but it's really not uh, I can put so many however many I think would cover the basis of what you would need to understand and what you know everything so just go in the link below if you get confused I'll put everything there for you but try to watch me here and see what you can pick up from here uh, let's start with the easy stuff. So I didn't mean to close out of the game. Uh, my bad. I want to cover this basis tier. Uh, if you're wanting to play with friends on Steam, you're not going to be able to shift tab and just play with anybody. It's not going to work that way. You're going to have to go into friends and go to manage friends and add players through here. Like I have here. You have in-game friends. Uh, I want to give a shout out to this guy right here. He shared this knowledge with me on how to really get this game to work right. So uh, I can't take all the credit. Uh, I really want to thank this guy here. But let's get into it. Uh, first off, let's make sure you have an online profile. Create one. Make sure you're online. You know, you're going to go and tweak your options and settings anyways. So we already know that. Now, what we need to do to get this thing to work. I'm going to cut the chase here. Uh, you just need to go to your start menu. And the quickest way I get to it is just type in firewall. This works with Windows 7 and 10 and everything. It's all the same software, all the same code. Go into the Windows Defender uh, uh, firewall with advanced security. That's what you need to go to. So here we are. Now you're wanting to go to outbound rules. So why this you're wondering well you probably don't care you just want it to work but windows firewall is preventing a lot of crap in the game from actually accessing servers and the internet so it's doing this accidentally thinking it's doing a good job but it's not so we're going to do something about that go to create new rule so here we're going to enter the ports in the computer in windows then later we're going to have to do that in the router for everything to take and work so this is the easy part you want to click on port and go to next uh, we're going to leave it at TCP and uh, we're going to type in the first port here and I have it already right here in a TXT this would be the first port uh, there we go so this would be the first port I'm getting confused here. I got two tabs going on here. All right, uh, we want to paste in here. That's the first port. Then we click next. Then we allow the connection and then click next and then click next. And then you want to name it whatever you want. I just name it World at War. You're going to have to do this a few times so you can name the next one World at War 2 or 3 or whatever. So you click on finish I don't have to because I've already done this now we're gonna do UDP now so this is the first UDP uh, UDP uh, port right here you want to come in here to uh, outbound rules new rule same thing port UDP this time paste it in there next allow connection next next name it finish same thing go in there copy the next one etc you get the gist of things it's pretty simple 
and I'll just do it here just to show you guys. You can uh, follow along. Hopefully, I'm not going too fast for you. Uh, paste. Make sure you do UDP on the last two. Next. Allow connection. Next. Next. Finished. You know, whatever. Name it. And then there you go. So, you get the gist. Uh, I have some in here that are already, you know, Call of Duty, World at War, and everything. So, you want to do that. You want to do that. So, now that we did that, you're done. That's all you got to do. You're done on the computer side. You're done fooling with Windows settings. That's all. This is the catch. You're going to have to figure out how to get into your router and this is Comcast this is mine so you're not necessarily gonna see the same interface uh, I have now it's time to get into the meat of things I've taken the liberty of deleting some of these ports for World at War so I can re-enter them so you can see step by step on how I do this remember your interface for your router or your, your whatever for your uh, internet service provider may look different than this but really what you're looking for is port forwarding and where you can add a service so we're gonna go to click to add a service and it should be basically the same thing among all uh, we're gonna add the service name I'm just gonna put world at war one remember the service type uh, is C, uh, TCP for the first one now you're gonna have to enter your IPv4 address and you're probably wondering how would I do that if you don't know how I'm gonna show you if you do just keep skipping through here but for those who don't know just come in here to your command prompt or type command prompt search whatever and type in IP config slash uh, all there we go for all of them so mine would be 10.0.0.1 or dot 10 now the first uh, port would be 289 60 and then 28961 uh, you don't have you can put zero or you can put the, the next number above it it doesn't really matter that's just the way I do it it, it worked for me I'm doing everything exactly the way I was told uh, I want to give credit to somebody at the end of this video for showing me this uh, that's the first one that's the first port uh, now time to add the second and I'm gonna kind of speed through here but just remember uh, the first ones TCP the rest are UDP and you pretty much get the gist of things uh, war 2 and we're gonna go ahead and we can fast forward a little bit we're done we are done you are done we're all done now if you're wondering if this works it does are you ready to see for yourself I'm gonna open up World at War and I'm just gonna try to find a game and sometimes you're not always gonna see something in here but you know what you can do you can sure as hell host a game and find people What this really, really does on these, these. All right. What this really does is make it to where you can actually host, where people can see you. Hello, how are you? Now, as you can see, this works. So 
say hi to YouTube. <laughs> so I'm not pulling your leg here. It works. Oh, well, we got a third. We got a third. So this is what you guys have to do. It works. As you can tell, this makes me happier than hell because this is such a really, really good game. And, you know, I just got tired of screwing with it for the last five years trying to get it to work. So I hope you enjoy and I hope to see you in the game. This is Crimson signing off.